I could also become what's called a caregiver. <laughs> and I can transport marijuana to my patients. And under the folks measure, I can grow it for my patients. So I can have up to five patients. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Go in my patients. I've got my marijuana growing over here, and I can do it. Ten plants for you, ten for you, ten for you, ten for you, ten for you, and if I'm a patient, ten for me. That's sixty plants I can grow, and I can process it, bag it up, get in my car, and I'll come to your house. Here's your marijuana. Here's your soda. Here's yours. Here's yours. I can go and do all that, and then I've got my operation going here at home, and y'all have to pay me to do that. That sounds like a drug dealer to me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just like, I can't believe this. These measures are over 11,000 words long. Did y'all hear me? Y'all know how many, how many words that is? And it's legal stuff. And they're expecting the average voter to walk into the voting booth and understand what these measures are going to do. And the sad thing is, all they can hear is metal. And a lot of the people that you go to church with and that you interact with are going to say this very thing. They're going to say, well, I wouldn't use it, but somebody might need it. So I guess I'll vote for it because somebody might need so. And I can address that in just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I may be wrong in this, but like, I'm going to go by promises that right now I'm going to go by promises. Marinol. It's called Marinol. It's a synthetic THC is what I'm told, but it has the same effect. Right. Yeah. So then I talked to someone who was running for sheriff's office and about the same issue, and they said, yeah, you can do it in a pharmacy. And he said, but you don't get the high that you get from smoking. I think, it, I think, I think he's correct on that. You get a little bit of the effect, but not as much. And there, there are two main ingredients, and I'm not a... Uh, chemist on this, but it's THC is the part that makes you high, and then CBD is the part that you hear about marijuana oils for kids with seizures, and it's got CBD in it, and there might be some medicinal effect from that, and there are products coming online, one's called Sandamax, that is a spray, I don't know if you spray it in your mouth or in your nose, but it's a spray that has the CBD in there. And it's shown some promise, with, I think, with helping with seizure issues and some things like that. And in fact, they're doing clinical trials at Children's Hospital regarding some of those compounds that are extracted out of the cannabis plant and synthesized for medicine. And that's what we do, don't we? I mean, with like with codeine and morphine and all that, what does that come from? The poppy plant, doesn't it? And, and, and so you also get heroin out of there, which is not medicine. But you extract those compounds out of there, you synthesize it, the FDA regulates it, and then it goes out there in the form of a strictly controlled prescription drug. See, I wouldn't have any problem with that. Right. Not a bit. So Not a bit. That's why I wonder why, why are they doing this? Yeah. Big recreational. It's recreational hiding behind sick children and the medical that is really what it is. What it comes down to. Yes, ma'am. Well, I I'm going to flaunt my ignorance here in terms of drug versus alcohol. I live in Van Buren County, and um, I mean, they can't even open a restaurant that would serve wine. I mean, it always gets voted down. So, isn't there some more local legislation that would prevent um, these stores or whatever? That, that's a really good question. Under the couch measure, there is a provision in there that sounds like a local community could have an election and not have any of the stores. But the way it's written, you have to have somebody in that town, like the Clinton Arkansas, let's say. Somebody in Clinton would have to get a petition up and get 15, at least 15, or some good percentage of the voters to sign a petition. And then the measure would go on a citywide ballot and there would be a citywide vote. Now, they might not care, the marijuana industry might not care if Clinton did that. But if Little Rock tried to do that, then they would come in with money and they would campaign real hard against it. 
and they would get out the boat and for all that. So I don't think local communities have near as much control as it might appear when you read those. But under the under the couch proposal, just grow your own. If there's no store in town, if you, you could run all the marijuana stores out of Clinton, and everybody in Clinton would be able to grow their own in their backyard. Because guess what? They're more than 20 miles from the store, right? So, whoa, <laughs> on the back, I guess. I think I can um, help this lady that had the question about Barrymore. Yes, ma'am. The Barrymore Park is supposed to get drug marijuana for recreational use. They um, use best growing practices for, uh, it's kind of like breeding an animal. They grow these drugs to harvest, be able to get out the qualities that are going to make the pie for the synthetic. It's right. used to treat the nausea with, with cancer patients. Right. It's synthetic, it's more controlled, it's more levelized, and the intent is not give you that time. The intent right. for that medicine is to alleviate those symptoms. Yes. And to your point, they have, they have, as you would with any plant, you can keep developing stronger strains of marijuana. Mm -hmm. I'm told that marijuana today is about six times, at least six times stronger than it was back in the 60s. And there are some strains of marijuana that are even much, much stronger than that. But when they when they make the marijuana oils, you refine the, the cannabis plant to where you get the THC out of it. And so those oils could be as much as 80% THC, which is really potent. And so they'll dab a little bit of that in their mouth and you get a really powerful high out of that. But also, you can take that and infuse it in alcohol. Now think about this, guys. What happens when a fraternity U of A puts marijuana into a keg of beer at a, at a fraternity party? Now, people may laugh, oh, they're going to have a good old time. The psychiatrist will tell you you get a really powerful negative psychotic effect because of the way THC interacts with the alcohol and what both are doing to your system. And so it's not a good outcome. It's not funny. And it's not just being drunk or hot. It's, it's a serious outcome. And so it would be very easy for that to go in there. The proponents say you can't use marijuana in public. If I was walking down West Capitol in Little Rock eating a cookie, would you know if it had marijuana? You know, there's no way you would know, is there? And so I would maintain, unless you're smoking it, there's no way anybody's going to be able to tell if you're using it in public or not. 